Welcome to this tech tip on creating solids from old edge cam parts using EWS. Let's begin by explaining what EWS is. EWS stands for Edge Cam Workflow Solids. This allows users to easily create solids in Edge Cam. Perhaps even better than being easy to use, it's free technology. It was introduced at Edge Cam 2014 R2 as a new command in the Edge Cam Workflow interface. So what can you do with it? Well, we have many users that are now using EWS to sketch parts, stock, fixtures and work holding, and even custom tool graphics, such as tools, holders, or components that are put into Code Wizard for CNC machine simulation. And another new benefit in EWS is it can convert DXF files to solids. With EWS, you have an ability to create a solid model where in past cases you would have had to use EdgeCam's line and arc based part sketching commands. While EdgeCam's line and arc based part sketching commands are functional, and you can certainly machine and create tool path with the lines and arcs that are created, everyone knows that solids are much more efficient and EdgeCam has excellent solids machining and why wouldn't we want to use a solid if possible? And EWS allows that to happen. Let's go take a look at how we can leverage the geometry from an existing part, create a solid using EWS that can allow the part to have new life. The part I have here is a part created in an older version of EdgeCam. Notice that the geometry consists of lines, arcs, and other basic wireframe sketch geometry that would have been created using the geometry construction commands in Workflow or the ones in the older classic EdgeCam interface. We want to turn this into a solid. However, before we do, we're in the ZX environment right now and we want to transpose, which is going to shift from the ZX environment that we're in into the XY environment where DXF files operate. When I select the geometry, notice that what this does is it shifts it into a perpendicular plane to lathe, which is again XY space. We'll now take and save this as a DXF file. So I'll go to File Type and choose DXF. Then I'll give this a name, DXF Example. With the part then saved, I can start a new part, demonstrating I'm getting rid of this one. And in place, I'm going to open the DXF file. Now again, I'm opening into a turn environment and notice that there is a part, but the part is on the side angle. That is happening because again, DXF operates in XY space and we're going to want to shift this from the XY into the ZX environment. Select the geometry and then go look at this from a normal turn view. We can see the geometry is correctly positioned exactly the way that we want. We're now going to take the DXF and convert it to a solid using EWS. When we launch EWS, the storyboard detects that this is DXF geometry and gives us the ability to extract geometry from that sketch. When I go to choose that, the prompt is to select the entities. So we'll go stretch a window that completely covers all of the entities here and then finish. Immediately those entities are passed into a sketch. I can see the sketch here and we can go ahead and we'll zoom out and then add a construction line to act as the center line. Now, if we wanted to do further geometry construction, add dimensions, trim and further manipulate this geometry, we can. At this point, I'm good with the sketch and ready to simply revolve it. I put in our parameters and press OK and notice that EdgeCam has now created a solid model of this entire part for us. We can add further geometry such as holes or other things like that, but in this case again, I'm happy with what I built and ready to return to EdgeCam. We can give the solid a name and after I press OK, notice that that solid model is now passed to the EdgeCam environment the component setup box shows up, complete with information about the part, and we're ready to begin the machining process. Let's begin by adding stock to the workpiece. I'll put in my stock parameters. Now we can go connect this to the CNC machine. We'll choose a sample lathe part. We'll choose a 
job kit. And then continue with creating the virtual setup. As we look at the part, and go into feature recognition next, again, just like a solid from anywhere else. Configure our parameters. Edgecam will go find the machinable cross sections. And then we can take and use this to quickly build knowledge based machining tool path. The entire solids capability is possible when we have a solid that's created in EWS, and in this case it gives us ability to take geometry from old edge cam parts and reuse it as solids that are parametric and that could leverage edge cam's full machining capability.